welcome, welcome to another edition of Office 365. Um, this is one of the basic videos, uh, which is about mail, which is probably the, the biggest reason to use Office 365 is because you need to check your mail. If you look at the 3x3 three three grid up in the corner here, it's your first option. You got the calendar, you got Word Online, Excel, PowerPoint, OneNote, OneDrive. These are all important, but mail is the one you're really going to need to use a lot. Now, there's some really neat features about this. Um, in that, you have an inbox, uh, drafts, you know, so if you are typing an uh, uh, email and the power goes out, it's going to be in the draft section. If you type in an email and you have to stop and do something else, it'll be in the draft section. So don't worry about losing your emails that you're typing in. Check the draft section. If you want to create a new email, you click on the new e the new button up here, and you're going to get two. Now, if you type in, if you start typing in someone's name, you're going to get email addresses. So. There's my email address. Uh, if you don't know their name, if you know their last name, you can type it in and just hit enter. So, for example, for me, Ugly, hop, there it is. I'm right there. Okay, and this is let's say this is a test. Now you can go in here and put in your your typical typing in your message thing. But really, you probably already know how to do that. One of the things that's kind of neat here that may cause some issues is attaching files. If you're going to attach a file, there's basically two ways to do it. One of them is doing it in line. That means that it just shows up in the picture. So if you do it in line, you're going to have your, your text, then you're going to have the picture or whatever, and then you're going to have your text. If you do an attachment, that's just going to tell them, hey, there's a file to download, here it is. Okay, so if you're trying to, you want to put a picture in and say, you know, hey guys, great job with lining up today, and there's a picture of people lining up here, that's great, you want to use online. If you want to have them, you know, download something like, okay, here's the curriculum map, or here's something I created on, uh, you know, Word or whatever, PowerPoint, here I want to send it to you, or a PDF, this is how you do it. So you click on Attachments, and here's where it gets tricky. This seems like, oh, what do I do from here? There's all kinds of stuff here, and it's not really obvious. What you want to do if you're doing an attachment is go to the computer, click on Computer, okay, and then find your file you want to attach. So if I say, oh yeah, I want to attach um, a video about Microsoft Excel, okay? You would hit open, okay? Now, this is, like I said, here's where it's going to get tricky. Smaller files, you will, this, this file is going to be more of a, a link where they they get a link to the thing because it's too big to put on a, a Word document. So let me try something a little bit smaller. How about something okay let's say you want an essay compare and contrast planner. Okay. Now, this one you can send as an attachment so they can just download it. Or you could say, here it is on OneDrive, you can go in and view it or edit it or whatever. So this would be shared on OneDrive. If you're familiar with Google Docs, OneDrive and Google Docs, it's the same thing. Okay, it's a place for storage. So if you just want to store it someplace and then say, here's where it is, go get it, you would upload it and share with OneDrive. If you just want to say, here's, a, here's, a, here's my essay thing, you want to download it, then here it is too. Okay, so if you say send as an attachment, it's going to show up here. Okay, so remember if you're trying to do an insert, you want to do an attachment, click here, which is a little paper clip. Okay, so it's an insert. 
paperclip attachments or OneDrive files. Most of the time, you're probably you're going to need to click on computer. Most of the time, you're going to want to use the attachment feature instead of the sharing one because um, it may not be on OneDrive. But if it's on OneDrive, that's fine too. So send us an attachment. And then wait till these little spinning circles stop because this means it's uploading. Now it's ready to go. So you can say, like this is a test. See if it works. Fingers crossed. Okay. So that's a way to, uh, to do this. Now, if you do this and you're like, oh, you know what, I don't want to send this, you can, you can either, you have the choice of either sending it or discarding it. So if you send it, it's going to go out. If you discard it, it's obviously going to give you the option to say, you know, hey, are you sure you want to do this? So you discard it. Okay. Now, here's another problem that's going to come up sometimes. Sometimes you're going to get an email from someone who might say, um, does anyone have an extra overhead projector in their room? And they might send it to the whole school. Okay, you might, you might know of a place that has one, or you might know of someone who would know if there is a projector somewhere. So you say, oh, I'll, I'll, I'll reply to that. There's two choices here. Reply basically goes to the person who sent it. So if you just want to send a reply to the person who sent it, you would hit reply. So if someone's looking for an overhead projector and they ask the whole school, you would send it to this person because the whole school doesn't need to know. That person needs to know. Okay? Reply all is when you're sending it to a group of people, everybody that's on the list. So if you had said, you know, hey, I'll reply all and tell this person there's an overhead projector in the middle school office, then everybody in the school is going to get your response about, hey, I think there's an overhead projector in the middle school office. This can get really annoying to people, especially towards the end of the year, uh, probably really towards Christmas and towards the end of the year, where people just get really like, oh, why are you replying to everyone? I don't need to know this. Hey, so reply all is probably best for things where you're having a, a, a kind of a collaboration email, maybe a team meeting or something where everyone in fifth grade is, you know, you got the fifth grade teachers that you're emailing to, you would hit reply all, you know, like, hey guys, uh, should we go on a field trip? That would be a reply all. Okay, if you, you've got a group, but if you're just talking to one person, you need to do reply. Okay, so reply is to one person, reply all is to everyone. And remember, everyone's going to get it. Please be mindful of whether everyone needs to read that email. Okay, so everyone probably doesn't need to read most emails that you're replying to. Okay, just the person who's asking the question. Okay, not everyone they ask the question of. So please, 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 please be mindful of that. All right, and remember that the draft section is great because it will set, it will save your your file. So just kind of like in all the other documents here where it saves as you go, this is going to save your emails. Okay, as you go. It's not going to send them. Not going to send them. So it's like blah 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 blah. Okay. It's not going to send them, but it's going to save this and you're going to see here it's in the draft section okay so I kind of went up went somewhere else because I was like oh hey there's something I need to pay attention to that could go back into the draft here okay so you can always go back and pick up stuff from the draft section and you know you don't have to re totally retype up an email or whatever so if you're typing up an email and something else happens and you've got to leave to do something, you can always come back and edit it. Okay? And that's kind of part of the share or the save feature 
that automatically saves in Word, PowerPoint, whatever. If you have any questions and stuff about email, please let, let me know, let the tech center know. We'll be glad to help you out. Uh, like I said, please be careful with the reply all button. Uh, and you'll do fine with this. It's really not that bad. Please look at the rest of the menu items that are coming up here to see if you want to you know, learn anything about Microsoft Word online, or Office 365 online, you know, PowerPoint online, OneDrive online, all those features. And you'll be able to click on the menu and go from here. So thank you very much for watching the video.